Welcome to a Verizon Innovative Learning video. Here we will discuss ThingLink and how you can maximize your premium account. ThingLink is a creation software that is used in our immersive media class. It allows students to add tags and information to 2D and 360 images, creating interactive experiences. As part of your technology package, you will receive a premium ThingLink account that can accommodate 60 seats or students. But what if you teach more than 60 students? Don't worry, there's a quick workaround we'll cover in this video. Let's start from the beginning. You'll go to thinglink.com edu and create a teacher account. You'll enter an email address, your name, and make sure to choose the teacher option. Finally, enter your school information. Once you have logged in, click on your account settings and go to billing. Here you can enter your upgrade code that you have received from Verizon Innovative Learning. This will allow you to invite up to 60 students to the class. To allow for more than 60 students to use your class, we can create a group and have students double up on accounts. Simply go to My Students, Groups, and then enter the group name you'd like to create. Next, select Add Users next to your group. Then choose Manual Creation. Here you will come up with up to 60 different usernames you want to use. I kept it simple and named them Student 1, Student 2, Student 3, and Student 4. Remember, you can enter up to 60 different account names here. Once you have entered the account names, a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet will be generated. Here, ThingLink has created login IDs and passwords for each of those account names you entered. What I recommend doing is creating a section for each period you teach. Then you'll assign each student from each period to a specific username. So in this instance, I will assign multiple students to that student1 account, and so on. In this example, we can see that John in period one will use the student one account, but Eric in period two will use the student one account. Theoretically, if you have 60 ThingLink seats, you could spread that across five periods and accommodate over 300 students. As with most technology, students might forget their password. There's an easy solution for this. Click on Users and find the account name of the student. Click on Change Password and enter a new password for your student. Because you might have multiple students using the same ThingLink account, it's important to set a norm not to mess with each other's projects. Students can work on their projects in the same account simultaneously, but have students name their projects specifically, such as John period 1 and Eric period 2. This will let John and Eric know which projects are theirs and which projects belong to other students. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this workaround allows you to get the most out of your ThingLink Premium account and provide more than 60 students with access to this amazing software.